Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So for this video, I decided that I would share a little story time with you guys. I have so many juicy story times for you guys, but this one is going to be about the time I got kicked out of Six Flags and it wasn't even my fault. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and let's get started. Okay, so where do we begin? Savina calls me the night before we go to Six Flags and she's like, hey, do you want to hang out? I haven't really seen you that long. Blah, blah, blah. Like, um, Jasmine has a membership pass and you can bring a guest in for free that day. So I was like, oh yeah, I'm down. And of course, course if it was free because I wasn't about to buy a ticket at that time we're waiting in line this is where everything goes downhill like I don't want to tell you guys the unimportant shit about the story like this is where things get crazy so we're waiting in line for I don't know what ride it was but it was like a two hour wait you guys like ridiculous it was like two hours but anyways we're waiting in line and like I'm in a bitchier mood than usual so I'm just like I think my period's about to start five minutes later my period starts while we're waiting in line for the ride and you know I didn't want to blow everybody's mood but at that point I was over it because my cramps were on 10 like I don't know I was just going through a lot and I just felt like more bitchier than usual so i was like someone come with me to the first a place because i didn't have any pads or tampons like i was just slacking that day this is who came with me to get the tampons i'm going too fast me savina and jordan okay so savina is the same age as me and jordan she's younger she's our younger cousin so we go to the first a place get tampons like took hella tampons extra and got some ibuprofen and then I said okay I'm gonna go to the bathroom they said they were gonna go get some water from the gift shop I was like okay that's cool <clears throat> so I go to the bathroom did what I had to do I come out and I call them and I'm like where are you guys at and they tell me where they are and I see them standing like like further away in front of a gift shop or something so I walk over there and at this point like I'm already over six flags can't even enjoy my time I have cramps like period going on too much going on basically so I walk over there and we're just standing in the same spot and like there's this white guy standing like abnormally close to us like he was like kind of like heavy set it was a white guy and a black guy and they were just standing in front of us so I thought they were talking to them and I'm just standing there like minding my business and I'm like why are we still standing here like what are we doing here and the guy is like how old are you? And I was like, I'm 22, why? And he was like, do you have your ID? And I was like, yeah, why? I'm over here thinking like, we're about to get kidnapped, sex trafficked. I don't even know what's going on, y'all. Like, I just, I walked in there like blinded. I didn't know what the heck was going on. So I'm just like, yeah, I'm like, why? Why are you asking me all these questions? Bruh. Savina tries to steal a water bottle from the gift shop first of all y'all with the membership card you get a free drink anyways listen to the funny part y'all Savina tells my little cousin Jordan to steal the water bottle for her and Jordan does it and I'm just like bro like he's telling me all this and I'm just standing there like looking at them like are y'all serious why did y'all steal a water bottle like we look Y'all look broke right now, like, that's really all I was thinking about. I was like, y'all some brokies. You're stealing a water bottle, like, not even a Coke or a keychain, a hoodie, a water bottle, like, but anyways, so he's like, we're gonna need to take them to the back, escort you out of the park, and they took us to, like, a security office all the way in the back, and they had told us at the time, like, we would just have to fill out paperwork, and then we would be able to go back into the park, so I'm just like... Okay, I guess I'm rolling my eyes annoyed because I'm just like if I wasn't here like what would have happened Savina lied about her age. She didn't want to tell them that she was 21 and I'm just so like literally y'all I'm just so confused this whole time because I'm like Why did you lie about your age when you're really 21 or 22 like? It doesn't matter you have no reason to lie we walk to the security office and they escort my little cousin Jordan to the security off like to the security office we all went and then they escorted her to the back to like talk to a investigator I don't know this a Six Flags investigator I really don't know and I'm just kind of nervous because I'm like um like should I go back there with her she's a minor like should I kind of be like her lawyer low-key
They were back there for like a good hour, two hours. My phone is dying. I'm sitting in the waiting room next to Savina. I'm fumed, y'all, but like, I didn't want to go off on her in that setting, for one. And for two, I'm just like, like, I, I don't even have the energy to go off on her. I have cramps, my phone was dying, I was hungry, like, I was just so annoyed at that point. So an hour, two hours passed by, they finally, they call me to the back. And I'm trying to think like of the story as I'm going, but call me to the back to talk with Jordan and the investigator and what happened? Oh, I had to like sign some papers to get her released because since I was of age, like I could get her released without having an adult drive all the way to Six Flags to come get her. And after that, they hit us with the Oh, and since this happened, you're not going to be able to come back into the park, so we're going to have to escort you all the way out, and you're just going to have to wait outside, find a ride. Bye. You can't come back in. I was just like, I didn't even steal anything. Like, if anything, I would have went back into the park, probably still rode some rides, but I was just like, I can't even leave them because clearly the when I went to the bathroom, like, this whole thing happened, and I'm just like... So they literally just let us out in the back of the security office. Like, this is detached from the park, so we didn't even know where we were. And we're just walking, like, literally in random places, trying to find the front of Six Flags. And what happens? This random lady ends up finding us who, like, she worked at Six Flags. And she was like, what happened? Where are y'all going? Blah, blah, blah. She dropped us back to the front, and we just had to sit in the front and wait while her sister and her boyfriend and her brother were just riding rides in the park. I had to sit with them in the front in the heat, y'all, on my period. If you're a female, you know, like that's the most uncomfortable thing ever. And then I had cramps on top of that. So I was just like, I was just so annoyed. And I don't know, we ended up like, what do we do? We literally just sat in the front of Six Flags for hella hours and just waited for Jasmine and her brother and them to finish riding rides and enjoying their time at Six Flags. And Savina ended up getting banned for a year. Jordan ended up getting banned for a year from all of them. And I think I was just, I just got banned for that day or kicked out for that day. I don't know, cause I ended up sneaking back in after. Cause I'm just like, no, I can't. I ended up sneaking back in, but I walked back out, but still. And then, I missed a part, okay. Y'all, the whole time, like this is how they got caught. Because it was a secret shopper guy in, it was a secret shopper guy in Six Flags. So he, he was dressed as a regular person, like you would have never thought basically that he was undercover. So that's how they got caught. But either way, I'm just like, why are y'all stealing water bottles? And if I wasn't here, where would y'all, like what would have happened? Like her mom probably would have had to drive all the way to Six Flags. It probably would have been a whole nother thing. And then my little cousin ended up getting mad at me because I like told, told them like, told them about what happened, the whole situation. Cause like, they already think I'm a bad like influence as it is. I don't know why, but, so I'm just like, I have to be responsible and tell them what happened. Like, like I'm the cool cousin, but you stealing water bottles. Like I would have gave you the money to buy a water bottle. It's never that deep. But I was just mad that I got kicked out of Six Flags. I couldn't even enjoy my free, my free visit. So I don't even know. Like that was my first time being back in a while too. So I was ready to have fun. And then I couldn't, even, did we even ride a ride? I don't even think we rode one ride. Or did we? I think we did ride one ride actually. We did. But yeah, moral of the story is you guys don't steal especially from Six Flags because they have undercover people and you'll get caught. But that was just a little story time I wanted to share with you guys. Like, I don't even know if it was funny, more annoying. It was just a shitty experience altogether. And then the fact that we got kicked out and we still had to wait outside. And the crazy thing is like, her sister wouldn't come bring us the keys. So we literally were just sitting on the concrete. Just imagine me like the New York emoji, like sitting on the concrete, mad not talking to any of them tight I'm just so tight just like all right 
I'm ready to go. But I hope you guys enjoyed this story time. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. If you want more story time, let me know in the comments down below because I have some really good story time. So if you guys want me to expose myself for content, I will do it for you guys. So like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video.